Kira beams a smile. Aw, oh, damn. We got some more liquor for you kids. No, I'm kidding. Um, Sunny tells her that she, she's the one who, who's making this particular decision, even if her sister may have proposed the outing in the first place. You'll see. You'll see. Just follow us. I nod, and I try my best to uh, stifle a grimace. After what happened during her uncle's birthday party, I don't trust her care judgment all that much. Hey. She's a pimp. Don't fuck with her. We keep walking, and I notice that we're passing more and more cafes, restaurants, and other uh, eat eateries. Right? Eateries or arteries? I don't know. Every once in a while, a drunken man or still comes out of the bar, usually being supported by another. But, for the most part, uh, uh, the customers around this part of the city look young and fashionable. Different kinds of music come and go as we pass by each business. The score created by the overlap should be gr uh, grading, but it reminds me so strongly of the times I spent in the city with my old friends that I don't mind. Hanako and I have started to drift a little apart from Lily Hakira. That comes to a stop when I hear a soft thud from beside me. So, sorry! She fucking bumped that tear, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, babe? The fuck? Get my lip! No, I'm kidding. Mr. My fucking shirt, babe! No. <laughs> uh, by the time she's, she, uh, she writes herself from her apology to Pal, the middle-aged Mrs. Mess she bumped into is walking away after mumbling a half-hearted apology. <laughs> you fucking, you fucking proprietor, bitch. Hawk looks a little put off by the experience. And as uh, she quickly skips ahead, aww, to match my pace, and then her head hanging low once more. She probably bumped into it because she wasn't. She was looking downwards, not where she was going. I said to the side letter to put one hand on her shoulder, trying her closer. Whoa, whoa, God damn! He put a arm. Oh, Jack's making a move. He's making a move. He's making a move. Wait, 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 wait. I got this. I had this in a while. <clears throat> oh shit! His cell. It's okay. You can walk closer to me if you want. What the? F all right, smooth. You know, I would have gone with... Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Michael hesitates, but eventually nods and asks that if he didn't read the line, he put his arm around her far shoulder, meaning that he has her wrapped around him. Pretty much, people. That's why I was like, oh, damn. In case I didn't read the far part, but yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. After a couple of times that I thought we had a ride at Akira's destination, we reached our target. But... Yo, hold up, I gotta do this. What is that? That's fucking beautiful music, dude. Oh my god, I have to put my volume up for this, dude. Ah. Oh. Dude, that's that's so. I don't know how it's gonna be for you guys, but this is fucking beautiful music. I downloaded. By the way, I know it's we're off topic. I downloaded the Cosmic Surgery soundtrack. Uh, I'll, if I remember, I'll post the link in the description. It's so good. It has all the music of the game. I'm gonna listen. To, I've been listening to this track for a while. It's so good, dude. It's the, the jazz kind of feel. So obviously, you know where we're at at a jazz club, but you know, it, it's such a cool feeling, man. Damn. But yeah, sorry. And there are a couple of times when we, when I thought we had right, right just oh right. Uh, but now we're below the elevated walkways in the past, most of the garish and brightly lit places. In one sec. Okay. And all right. I'm back. I'm a bit of a surprise. The average age of those around us are distinctly older. And the small cigarette smoke is pretty thick. The area is far from seedy though. And it's a little amusing to see Lily's reaction to the smell of the smoke. <laughs> She's not used to it, I'm assuming, alright. While it's masked with the low talking of those around us, jazz music, the best shit I've hearing so far, uh, can be heard emanating emanating. Wait, what? Emanating? Oh, emanating from inside. Looking up the dimly lit sign, it's obviously obvious. It's because obviously why. <clears throat> a jazz club. I have to admit, this isn't what I expected. Lily gives an amused snort and a smile. Somehow I feel like I should have known it, Akira. 
As we talk outside, I notice more and more odd sideways glances directed our way. People will awkwardly catch themselves staring a look away, but that just makes it more obvious. I had, no I had noticed this occasionally when we were walking, but now it's more pronounced. It's more pronounced now. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. God damn it. Come on. Come on. I never, I've never explained anything like that in my life. An average looking Japanese teenage guy, just a little taller than normal, isn't the type to draw attention without making an effort. Hey, come on, just because you're a teenager doesn't mean you can't have a taste, right? I love her thinking. Well, I don't really mind the music. If that's what you mean. I I don't mind it either. She only just managed to force the words out. It contrasts heavily when, to where we're alone in, in Yamago. And it disappoints me a little that she's so highly strung for what's supposed to be a good time out of town. It's hard to read Hanako's face as she keeps looking downwards. It's a little... I uh, wonder if she doesn't often come onto the city because of this. And it makes me a little thankful that my own scarring is easily hidden. Oh yeah, huh, I forgot he has a scar in his chest. Lily has a similar way of attracting people's gazes. But the reason for it is clearly different. She hardly looks like a native. And the same- wait, they don't, whoa, really? But, so they look all oh, right, cause she's- yeah, okay. Uh, and the same can be said for her sister. That much is far more noticeable uh, than her blindness from a distance. She may not be able to see this for herself, but I have little doubt she can hear the odd whispered phrase from people who think they're out of earshot. Read that as it may, she doesn't seem to show any sign of either annoyance or pleasure at their attention. Akira is still confident as ever, though flashing a smile, she strides in with Lenny by her side and the two of us following behind. Aw, oh, damn! Please shut the fuck up by recording with audio and um, video lag. Um, yeah. I had expected my eyes to need uh, adjusting to the light inside, but it's not that much brighter outside. The music we heard is clearer now, which I think it's probably too loud. Oh, no, that's because I have it loud on my headset. Right, okay, cool. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. Mixed in with the sound of glasses moving on to the tables of counters. And the husky chatter of the pa pa uh, pa patrons looking to my right reveals the music source. A jazz group playing behind, uh, oh, I'm sorry, beyond some tables. The pages seem to be mostly men, and though there is a handful of women, nobody looks under 30. Aside from us, of course. It feels a little like I've set into the 1920s, and the atmosphere is quite agreeable. I'm not co completely comfortable uh, simply because of my age, but I, where I older... Okay, come on. But where I older... I would probably feel quite at home. I'm sorry, I love the song, I'm sorry. Uh, Hanako seems a little bit more relaxed now. Probably due to nobody looking at her. Everybody's talking between themselves, drinking, or watching the band. Akira Cash, who takes a seat at the counter without even glancing around. She's probably come here before. No. No, let's just go to a random place that no one knows about. Let's see how it is. Alright, cool. Lily retracts her cane, filling out the bar stool on the edge of the counter before taking a seat beside her sister. The bartender takes a brief break from polishing a glass to watch her, before putting it down and coming over. Good evening, ladies. What would it be? Just a scotch, thanks. Lily? May I have a glass of champ- Oh, she was going to ask for champagne! God A black suited elbow hits her sharply. Orange juice, please. <laughs> uh. She's gonna get some champagne. Lily's a drunk, dude. Lily's a low key drunk. Huh. Well, alright. <laughs> no problem, coming right up. The bartender starts to pour their drinks. A couple seconds passes before Akira suddenly remembers that Hanako and I are, are indeed here and jumps around to us. You two want anything or are you just gonna stand there? Hanako seems to be getting a bit restless. No matter where we're going to uh, see ourselves, there's gonna be people right next to her. And I don't think she looks convincingly older than 20, unlike Lily. Oh, true. Looking around, there's a game section to our right. A couple of uh, billiard tables can be seen in the corner, and nobody's using them either. I got saw Anako about to ask her if she'd like to play, but she's already longly at, uh, looking longly at the same direction. Maybe it's just something that we can uh, get by with, where, with a few words nowadays. We'll go play pool over there. Oh, it's pool! Dude! Fucking do this! Fucking MOG pool player over here. Shit. 
I can hear back to see past me before shrugging and sitting back up. It seems like you put up with only me for company. How unfortunate. Have fun, you two. We turn to set off to a abandoned corner with Hanako taking the lead. This prospect, the prospect of a nice, quiet game away from everyone makes her walk noticeably faster. Her eyes stay firmly fixed on her prize. Oh, damn. Oh, that looks pimping. That looks great, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That looks pretty... It looks pretty, it looks pretty nice. I, I would go there and play it full. She why not? The table's full size and well lit despite the surrounding darkness. Thanks to the bright overhead lights, a huge painting of something covers a wall. There aren't many uh, people miling about the, uh, this corner of the club, and I can see Hanako becoming a little less tense as a result. You n know how to play? I'm not an expert, but yeah, I do. Then, um, eight ball? Sure. This bit, this motherfucker knows how to play Paul, goddamn! Okay, no, seriously, though. And I think it's a chalk and the two cues from the set of hooks against one of the walls. While I fetch the balls, that's right, balls, from the table's pockets and grab the rack from a shelf near, underneath. She patiently waits as I get the table set up. After slotting the uh, final ball into the rack and doing some last adjustments, I end up having to fight my uh, perfectionist urges to, and getting the bottom row of balls exactly perpendicular with the edges. I did that too. Don't worry, Sal. I'm with you, Sal. I'm with you, Sal. With the balls arranged and ready to play, I step back and take uh, my cue from her outstretched arm. I carry out a quick and I'm sorry inspection of the tip uh, before I'm satisfied that it's in a good condition. So you played before, once or twice. I j just kind of know the rules. The every two us was a little awkward. She's still pretty nervous, understandably, given that we're in public. What does that mean? Well, all right, fine. I'll let that one slide us out. Eventually, the science becomes too much even for her but she quickly begins to quietly stammer. Who, who will break? I think for a moment before reaching to my pocket and drawing a coin. I'll take heads of your tails. After not opening it from Monaco, I flip the cone up in the air. Catch it, I flip it over into the back of my left hand. It looks like you get it, you it looks like it's you that gets to break. Oh god. Okay. I don't know. Alright, cool. <laughs> Monaco nods again before taking every position at the end of the table. She's not usually this quiet around me, but I'm not wholly sure of it. It's because of the tip bit of information about her past that's about moments ago. Or Yeah, sure, sure. Oh. Oh, 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 oh I heard it. Ah. Oh. The key comes back uh, in fact in the practice chest uh okay, what the fuck is wrong? I can't talk Fuck Okay. Whew. The cue comes it back in the practice chest before smacking dead into the center of the cue ball with a thud. The white ball skates across the smooth green expanse before smashing into the carefully arranged balls on the other end. Balls skitter across the table at high speed. The break was good. With the balls being nicely distributed around the table, flies are already flicking from one to another to pick out the easiest candidates in the pocket. And I can retreat from the side and I take my shot. Well done. It's only after Anako says this that I realize the ball I was shooting at was sunk. Oh, I look at her and notice a small smile on her face. It's nice how playing games seems to loosen her up a little. I guess I'm stripes then. I take a step back and let her take her next shot, but she doesn't advance to the table. Rather, she looks down a little and rubs her arm. Huh? But I can identify as this as one of those uh, her gestures that means she wants to say something, but isn't sure enough of herself to do it. Fucking say it! What's up? It's just... You had a nice smile. Do you like playing this? Oh, you were smiling. Ah. I sigh and lean back against the table. I like playing, yeah. I think I was smiling because it's really nostalgic, though. Naka tilts her head uh, quizzically, like I just did. <laughs> okay. Me and my friends used to play pool uh, in the game centers uh, near where we lived pretty often. And at night, too. Wouldn't your par- No, motherfucker, no! My parents both worked, so they didn't mind me not being in the house. I stayed on top of my school were pretty easily as well, so there was plenty of time to do other stuff at night. Our conversation dies down, with Hanako's timidly getting 
the better of her. In response, I got off the table and let her take her turn shooting. There aren't many solids in, in each position, so Anako pins down and takes a while to line up herself up properly. 